Go on. <laughs> what the f***? You were like inside me by the time that I heard you. Like I spun around the moment that I heard you. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is OnePeg and in this video we're going to talk about the audio system of Tarkov. Yeah, I know that there have been other videos generated by people like Veritas who did the Oculus Audio Challenge based on all of the testing and the like double blind quizzes and stuff that have been getting circulated around. We can all agree that in its current iteration, at least I hope we can all agree in its current iteration, Oculus Audio is not functional. That being said, even without Oculus Audio, with it, without it, it doesn't matter, there are still audio bugs, which come stem from the core audio engine. And what I'm about to show you, this is the absolute worst I have ever heard the audio system perform in this game ever. I'm going to show you a couple of clips, and then I'm going to kind of try to explain what I think is going on. And I might be completely wrong. But what this is going to highlight is that on Shoreline, for at least for this video, on Shoreline, I would recommend that you guys either steer clear of the resort entirely, or if you're going to the resort, do not go alone. Because if you go alone, you are going to probably be blindsided by somebody who was probably there all along, and you never heard them coming. Huge, massive shout out to a community member that's relatively new to the community, this dude named Depeche Moog. He was the one that brought this to my attention and did some of the initial testing, which some of which I recreated and other things we found in addition. And as always, thank you to Ultimate KC, one of my mods and community members, dude is awesome, who helped me test this stuff. You're the man. Oh, and before you ask, everything that I tested was tested with headsets on, with headsets off, with different headsets. It didn't matter. Every result was the same. Here, here, wild. here. All right, you stand, you stand right here. All right, and then I'll run downstairs, and I'm gonna come back up, and you spin around when you see, when you hear me. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, here you go. What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay, so that clip is pretty damning. The way that it's looking is when you're hugging the wall like that, trying to look down through the holes, and it doesn't matter if it's on that side or the other side of that center section on West Wing, as somebody comes up and starts running through that main landing, whether they're sprinting through the center of it, or they could be around the opposite side in the other little branch there, running through the middle or running in the opposite hallway, anything within about a 10 meter radius of that corner and any other corner in that entire landing area makes no sound if you're trying to, like, hug the wall. None. All right? Because I'm going to walk this turn, one. Turn your flashlight off. All right, I'm going to walk this one. Okay. <laughs> so come over here. Stand right here. And just uh, run into the wall. I'm assuming that you're running. Yep, I'm running right now. I'll stand here like I'm. Wa I'll sit right here like I'm watching the hole. You run around, and then I'll turn around when I s when I hear you. You're going the wrong way. No, oh, I know. I just want to see if you can. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't tell that you were on the same level as me. So what I think is happening in this is as you're playing around corners, especially when stairs are involved, there seems to be just some cutoff. Like, oh, you're not in line of sight of this person anymore, even though you're relatively close, but you shouldn't be able to hear them because this wall is in the way, so it just cuts all the sound off. Then, of course, if you get far enough away from the original source of the sound, it suddenly comes back in ringing like a bell for you to be able to hear off in the distance. So there's something that is also amplifying the sounds at range so that we know that there's somebody over there. But once you get so close, it cuts all the sound off. So I had an idea. What happens if you have somebody inside of a room in one of these hallways and they start walking around and then I walk around the corner? Let me tell you, it ain't good. All right, why don't you, uh, why don't you do that then? Go like run down.
What the fuck? Dude, you were in front of me before I knew that you were in, like, audibly in front of me. Are you walking around right now in wood? Still? Yeah, I'm walking on wood, yeah. Are you still walking? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Keep walking around. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Keep going. All right, yeah, you have to hear this. This is fucking broke. The most interesting thing about that clip that I just played is that if the situation is reversed, I can hear or he could hear the person walking up and down the stairs and around the outside corner clear as day. Yeah. What? So, so somebody could be in this room, just like dicking around, moving back and forth, and like all of a sudden, like their footsteps just disappear. Like you, I'll leave the door open. You just keep keep walking around. Yep. Doors open, right? Yeah, it's open. Wide open. What the fuck? All right, hold on. All right, all right. Look at this. Look at this. So if I stand here, if I stand right here and you're walking in that room with the door open, I can't hear you walking. If I stand here, I can hear you. Or like I, I can hear you because you're right there. And I can still... Yep. But I bet you if I turn this corner... Yeah, you're gone. If you have a pretty keen ear, you can hear some crossfading going on where the audio would fade out as you kind of got past whatever that threshold was, and then when you came back inside of that threshold, it would fade back in. Those things all take time, time that in shooting games we don't necessarily always have. So when you go from not being able to hear any footsteps at all just because the game says you shouldn't be able to hear them, to then, oh, you can hear footsteps now, but the person that you're supposed to be able to hear has already turned the corner and now they're at your back shooting you, that doesn't really help things very much. What this also means is it further gives the, the aggressive player the advantage in the vast majority of situations. Unless, of course, you're in that one instance that I was able to find where you're sitting inside of that one room or a different room or whatever to be able to hear somebody walking around outside of your room, but they can't hear you. As I said at the beginning of the video, I think it would be a good idea that you don't go to Shoreline Resort by yourself because of all of these very, very obvious scuffed problems, and we're not even talking about the multi-level audio issues where you can hear people on the roof as if they're next to you from the first floor or vice versa. All of that stuff is still there too. This is something that I believe is significantly worse and highlights one of the worst audio bugs I have ever seen, probably the worst audio bug I've ever seen in the game because this would be the direct uh, result of you getting clapped, because this would be the direct cause, because something like this would be the causation for somebody getting clapped. If you can't track someone with audio as they're moving through around you, what's the point of having any audio at all? A situation like that, you'd be better left off not being able to hear anything and just rely on your eyes, because the audio is only going to mislead you. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Thanks so much for coming and checking it out. If you would be so kind as to follow me on my socials at OnePegMG on Twitter, at OnePeg on TikTok. I stream every single day around 6 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash OnePeg. And as always, if you would be kind enough to sub the channel here, I would be incredibly appreciative. Thank you so much for lending me your eyeballs, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.